guess what? Pioneer has finally put out new next stereos. It's about time. Don't think you fool us putting a one at the end of the other previous models. Anyway, say hello to the AVH 2300 Nex. Like the majority of Nex radios, this is a double din and features a 7 inch clear resistive touchscreen. It feels more responsive than the other models, except for the capacitive touchscreen on the 8200 Nex, obviously. Pioneer says the new 24 bit true color LCD panel is to thank for that as it increases color depth. Now, let's go over the main reason to get a Nex. Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. These two tech behemoths created these smart and safe ways to use your phone inside your car. Because I mean, let's be honest, who isn't texting and driving? Next time you pull up to a red light, just look around. Count how many faces are down and lit up by screens. It's cheaper to just buy this radio than pay the fines that most states have for texting and driving laws. And if you think about it, the goal of driving is to basically get from point A to point B as quickly as possible without playing bumper cars. So why not be safe about it in today's world of distractions? Both work by connecting your phone to the rear USB port. Don't worry, it comes with an extension to run through your dash. Apple CarPlay will transfer several of your phone's first party apps to the radio as well as several third party apps. Use voice control with Siri to make and receive calls as well as send and receive text messages. She'll even read them back to you. Go through your iTunes library and playlist to stream your music. The AVH 2300X does not have built in navigation, but CarPlay lets you use Apple Maps, not Google Maps, to get directions. Plus find places like restaurants, gas stations, jack in the box for my late night munchy meals. Whatever. Obviously your third party apps are limited, so you're not going to be able to go through your Instagram or Twitter feeds. It works with audio apps, so the ones from my phone that transferred were MLB apps so I can listen to baseball games, Overcast, which is a really great podcast app, Pandora, which we all have, Radio.com, which I use to listen to Boston Sports Radio since I'm so far from home, and Spotify. I really like that Pandora and Spotify not only let you go through the apps fully, but the radio puts a splash screen of whatever album you're listening to in the full background of the radio. Android Auto is very similar but with a completely different look. The interface is way more creative than Apple CarPlay's, it's colorful, unique, feels more like an app. But nevertheless, it does all the same things as CarPlay. Make and receive calls, send and receive messages, stream music, plus you get to use Google Maps which is way better for navigation, step up from Apple Maps. And with Android Auto, Google Assistant is your voice companion. When connected with CarPlay, you can still interact with your phone. However, when connected with Android Auto, your phone is inaccessible unless disconnected from the USB. A few apps that Android Auto is compatible with that CarPlay is not include Kick, Skype, and WhatsApp. Pioneer gave the new Nexus an updated user interface. The fonts are more modern, the main screens are a lot crisper, everything's just been tightened up. The whole UI looks almost like you're using Chrome or something. Everything just feels better visually. 7 inch display on the 2300 Next is motorized, so you can adjust the tilt position for different viewing angles. Plus you can open it fully to insert a DVD or CD. It has Bluetooth for hands-free calling and music streaming. It features a command button for Siri or Google Assistant. But there's no HD radio, just regular RDS tuner and it's Sirius XM ready with the SXV300 V1 link in the bio. The radio is compatible with App Radio Live and App Radio 1, which are basically like the PlayStation 1 versions of Android Auto and CarPlay. They offer some app integration like music and navigation, plus potential marrying with the proper cables. The AVH 2300 Next does not have an HDMI port, however, I was still able to mirror my phone to it with the RCA AV inputs using a few adapters. This lets you do things like use Waze and watch videos from YouTube or Netflix on their radio. We have an in-depth video going into detail on how to mirror radios that have no HDMI ports. There's a link in the card up top and below in the bio. Connecting your car and the 2300 Next with the iDatalink Maestro RR integrates your vehicle with factory audio system and adds OBD2 support with vehicle information allowing you to check out gauges, tire pressure, adjust climate control, and parking assist. Link in the bio to purchase that. Pioneer added a whole new crop of preset wallpapers to choose from, including a few animated ones. Plus you can upload your own. Select your own clock, change the overall color theme of the radio, plus the button illumination. 
and Pioneer didn't skimp on the audio controls. The 13-band graphic EQ features several presets like powerful, natural, and vocal, adjust the fader and balance position, get subwoofer control over the low-pass filter, listening position creates the perfect audio for any seating arrangement, adjust the crossover and high-pass filters of the front and rear speakers, time alignment improves accuracy and transient response, plus add effects like bass boost and loudness. Using USB drives or CDs, the radio is compatible with MP3, WMA, AAC, WAV, and FLAC audio files. And for video, it plays MPEG-1, MPEG-2, MPEG-4, AVI, and WMV files. You can also upload and view JPEG images. The connections in the back include Bluetooth microphone, steering wheel control, Sirius XM, iDataLink Maestro, USB, auxiliary, wiring harness for power ground and speaker, three sets of four volt preamp outputs for front, rear, and subwoofer, RGB input for optional AVIC U280 navigation, RCA AV inputs, video output, backup camera, and radio antenna. The radio comes with a Bluetooth microphone, wiring harness, and USB extension. That's it on the Pioneer AVH2300 next. Be sure to get all of your car audio and video gear with us at qualitymobilevideo.com. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you're new. Click that like button, join the conversation below, and follow us on Instagram at qualitymobilevideo. Thanks for watching.